Good day, everyone, and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread Devotional and Scripture Song Broadcast for this 15th day of February, and it is Tuesday, and today's topic is titled, You Never Know, or You Think Too Much. So, before we get started on all that, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world, and hope and pray He is your Lord and Savior today. Amen. So praise the Lord for salvation. Amen. All right. So we're going to sing today's scripture song first and then get into the topics for the Baptist bread and then the boots on the ground devotional and then today's hymn story and or today's hymn. And then there's a little story on the bottom there um, of the book. So keep uh, thinking I'm still in that um, hymn story book, but I'm not right now. So uh, <clears throat> amen. That was a blessing to be able to um, know some of those, uh, stories behind those hymns, amen, so, but now we're just singing hymns and, uh, reading a little, uh, excerpt at the bottom of the page, if there is one, on each of the hymns, uh, that I pick out of the hymn book, uh, so as long as they're available, uh, for a tune, so I can sing them, amen, <clears throat> alright, so we're gonna do this scripture song, and, uh, here we go. Psalms 97, 12. Rejoice, Rejoice in the Lord, Lord ye righteous, righteous, and give thanks at, at the remembrance of His, his holiness. holiness. Amen. Here we go. Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of His holiness. Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of His holiness. Give thanks. At the remembrance of His holiness, rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of His holiness. Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of His holiness. Give thanks at the remembrance of His holiness. Amen. All right. So go back and do yesterday's and then today's again at the end of the broadcast. Now it's time to get into today's topic for February 15th, Tuesday. And it's titled again, You Never Know or You Think Too Much. And the pa passage is from Proverbs 27 1, where it says, Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. Proverbs 27, 1. And today's author is, of course, Brother Tim Green from Revival in Our Times, Day Heights, Ohio. And so let me read you on uh, what he wrote on this topic of you never know or you think too much. <clears throat> All right, he writes here, A lot of people are in eternity today that took a chance with their soul or thought they could beat the odds, ending up in the darkness, which excuse me, with the deceived and the damned. So, make sure you don't go there. Don't uh, end up in hellfire and die in your sin. All right, continue on. He says, some people believe the lie that they have sinned so much that God could never forgive and save them, not realizing that the blood of Jesus has done far more for sinners than they have imagined, right? So, if you think that your sin is uh, so bad that God can't forgive you and you can't uh, be redeemed, well, think again, because Jesus Christ wants to save anyone, even you. Amen? So don't think your sin is so bad that uh, Jesus doesn't want you, because he does. All you have to do is humble yourself, admit you're a sinner, and you can't get to heaven your own way, and realize that Jesus Christ is the only one that can redeem your soul and give you eternal life. And... Uh, uh, confess with your mouth, amen, and all that stuff, so praise the Lord, uh, went over that a little bit tonight in class, so praise God that uh, he can save your soul today if you truly repent and trust him as your savior, all right, continue on, he says, rejoicing, the writer of Hebrews exclaims, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience, from dead uh, works to serve the living God. Hebrews 9.14 
Others seem to believe they have sunk too deep in sin for Christ to rescue. These have failed to consider what John the Beloved wrote. The blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanseth us from all sin. Hallelujah. 1 John 1, 7. Another group of sinners decry the distance their sin has placed them from God. I've gone too far, is their lament. They are not aware that Christ's blood has gone farther than the stain of sin has gone. Amen. Listen to what the Apostle said in Ephesians 2.13. But now, in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off, are made nigh by the blood of Christ. If you are reading this as an unsaved soul, junk your excuses and trust Christ today. If saved, rejoice. Amen. He writes in big, bold letters, rejoice. So let's rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Amen. <clears throat> All right. So that is the end of the topic. You never know or you think too much. So uh, if you think that uh, your sin so bad that God cannot forgive you, again, uh, Jesus Christ died for all sinners, and he wants all to come to repentance and put their faith and trust in him and him alone. Amen. So praise God for that. All right. So that's the end of the Baptist Bread devotional. And now I'll go ahead and read the Boots on the Ground devotion for today. And this is titled Boots on the Ground, Daily Devotions for the Christian Soldier, written by Randy Wells. And today's topic is titled... God knows the way. Amen. And uh, today's uh, event takes place on February 15, 1760. And the passage is from Psalm 17, 5, where it says, hold, uh, hold up my goings in thy paths, that my footsteps slip not. Psalm 17, 5. All right, he writes here, During the period of maritime history known as the Age of Sail, uh, ships were classified much like today according to how many guns were aboard, method of pro propulsion, and other physical properties in 1664. Uh, England's King Charles II supervised the launching of the HMS Royal Catherine. King Charles hoped his new 84-gun ship would serve England's needs in fighting the Dutch in the Second Anglo-Dutch War. Not only did she fare well during the Dutch War, but the Royal Kathleen, Ka Catherine uh, also performed uh, exceptionally during a series of wars fought in the 17th and 18th centuries. In 1706, she was renamed R R Rambles in homage to England's victory during the Battle of Ramillies. On 15 uh, February 1760, after 96 years of almost continual service, the Ramillies sank because the ship's master had mistaken their location and they neared the Devon shore. The previous day, a violent storm had pushed the Ramillies eastward until, until a promontory called Bolt Tail, came into view. Thinking he was at Ram, uh, Ramhead and heading back to Plymouth, the ship's master advised the captain to hoist the sails and run toward Plymouth's, Plymouth Sound. Once the sails were up, the high winds pressed the canvas to the point that the main mast crashed into the deck, followed by the um, mizzen mast. Without any control of direction, the Ramillies ripped past Bolt Tail and smashed her stern right into a large cave at the bottom of the cliffs. As the vessel broke apart, more than 700 people drowned. Often we think we know better than God regarding the direction our lives should take, and like the Ramillies, we find ourselves without direction. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, rather than trying to figure out a solution on our own, we should turn to God and seek his direction. Amen. Proverbs 3, 5-6 encourages us to trust him and lean on his guiding hand. 
Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Amen. Good scripture to take heed of. Praise the Lord. That's a good passage right there. So again, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Amen. All right, so that's the end of the Boots on the Ground devotional. All right, so go ahead and put that aside. And now it's time to get into today's uh, hymn. All right, so put that there. And today's hymn is titled... Hold on a second, let me get this out of here. All right, so today's hymn is... Uh, on page 52 of the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book. And this is uh, titled, Come Christians, Join to Sing. It says, In Him, Praise Unto Christ. And this is written by Christian H. Bateman, who lived from 1813 to 1889, and harmonized by David Evans, 1874 to 1946. All right, so let's go ahead and... Press play here. Mm -hmm. Come, Christians, join to sing. Hallelujah. Amen. Loud praise to Christ our King. Alleluia. Amen. Let all with heart and voice before His throne rejoice. Praises His gracious choice. Alleluia. Amen. Come, lift your hearts on high. Alleluia. Amen. Let praises fill the sky. Alleluia. Amen. He is our guide and friend. To us he'll condescend. His love shall never end. Alleluia. Amen. Praise yet the Lord again. Alleluia. Amen. Life shall not end the strain. Alleluia. Amen. On heaven's blissful shore, His goodness will adore, singing forevermore. Alleluia. Amen. Amen. All right, so that's the him and now I'll go ahead and read you the little story down here all right it says first appearing in an 1843 collection edited by christian henry bates and entitled sacred melodies for sabbath schools and families this song was originally intended for youth the original wording read come children join to sing uh, reproduced by permission by uh, uh, permission of Oxford University Press, all rights reserved. All right, so that is the little story there. Amen. And I'll give you the 
passages here for each of the stanzas. So stanza one is Revelation 19, 1 through 6, Psalm 98, 4 through 8, or 4 through 6, excuse me, and then Psalms 147, verse 1. Stanza 2 is um, Lamentations 341, John 15, 13, and uh, Jer I think that's Jeremiah 31, 3, J-E, Jeremiah, or it might be James. No, I think that's Jeremiah. All right, and then the final stanza, stanza 3, is Revelation 19, 3, Revelation 19, 1, and Psalm 113, verses 1 through 2. Amen. So that is the hymn, Come Christians, Join to Sing. All right, so um not sure. The next one is titled Worthy, is Worthy the Lamb, but I'm not sure if they'll look that one up. So, amen. <clears throat> All right, so that was the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Song book, and that's uh, what that looks like on the screen there. Amen. And that's by... MelodyPublications.com. That's where you can find the book. Amen. All right. Now I'll go ahead and uh, sing some scripture songs before we wrap it up for today. All right. We'll do yesterday's and then conclude with today's. Hebrews 4.12. For the, the word, word of God, God is quick and powerful, and powerful and sharper than, than any, any two-edged sword, sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Here we go. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword and is Thoughts and intents of the heart. Amen. All right, now we'll conclude with today's. Psalms 97, 12. Rejoice, Rejoice in the Lord, Lord ye righteous, righteous, and give, give thanks, thanks at the remembrance of His holiness. Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous. Give thanks at the remembrance of His holiness. Rejoice the Lord, be righteous. And give thanks at the remembrance of His holiness. Give thanks at the remembrance of His holiness. Rejoice in the Lord, be righteous. And give thanks at the remembrance of His holiness. Rejoice in the Lord, be righteous. And give thanks at the remembrance of His holiness. Give thanks at the remembrance of His holiness. Amen. All right. Well, that'll be it for today's broadcast. But before I go, as always, I'd like to give you tomorrow's scripture song and then the topics for the Baptist Bread and Boots on the Ground devotionals. And tomorrow is the 16th, and we'll be in Revelation 3, 10 through 11. It says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Amen. So that's tomorrow's... Uh, scripture song and then tomorrow's baptist bread devotional topic will be titled all right uh seeing and believing and the passage is from judges 2 7 so that's tomorrow's uh topic seeing and believing all right and then uh so that's the baptist bread devotional topic and then the boots on the ground topic will be titled uh God is our fortress. Amen. God is our fortress. And this event takes place on February 16, 1270, all the way back in the uh, year 1270. And the passage is from Jeremiah 15, 20. So that's tomorrow's God is our fortress. And uh, so that's the Boots on the Ground book. 
And this is the cover to it. Amen. So that's Boots on the Ground, Daily Devotions for the Christian Soldier, written by Randy Wells. And that's that book. And then the scripture song uh, song book here is uh, available on www.dailyscripturesongs.com along with the CDs. And this is the back cover that shows you all the different CDs here. So you can kind of get an idea of what they look like. I know it's uh, a little bit of a glare there. So but that's uh, all the covers for each of the CDs. And there's um, all these different scripture songs you can learn through... Uh, uh, song of course amen so praise the lord and that's brother dean and sister patty's website and they're missionaries to port kaituma guyana so praise the lord for them and pray for them and all missionaries around the world all right and uh, their latest prayer letter should be coming out here soon so keep an eye out on that on the um website amen all right and then the the um songs psalms and hymns and spiritual songs book is available online at www.melodypublications.com so you can look that up there and order that and again that's the cover to that book amen all right and then the baptist bread devotional if i haven't given you the information for that one that's uh www.baptistbread.com and then also uh tim green ministries Dot org so you can check that out and order that on those uh websites either one of those amen all right and this is what uh this month and last month's look right like and so i'll be showing you the uh, cover for uh next the next two months here soon so amen if you order now you'll get the ones for uh, march and april hallelujah all right well that'll be it for today's broadcast so thanks for watching and may the lord richly bless you until next time Remember, Jesus saves. Believe on him. Amen.